Hey guys, welcome to blog.websex.org. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can remove WordPress uh, from your URL. So I'm using this site for the demo and as you can see, I have WordPress on the top in my URL there. So if I delete that WordPress and go to my domain.com and then I hit enter, I will not see anything. But I have to go to WordPress or type in on WordPress on the top. And you might want to remove this WordPress from the URL. So let's get started. First, what we're going to do is back up our whole website and you can check out my tutorial how to manually picking up the whole WordPress website in this video with the green uh, background color. Just click on that link or below this video. So I strongly recommend that you can pause this video and do the backup first. So after you back up, the next step is we're going to uh, use Chrome browser or any browser that you like but I prefer Chrome in this video and then we're going to hit con uh, command and N to open a new window here on the Chrome and then we're going to um, look for co uh, moving WordPress in our Google and then it should be in the first row in Google search click on that so in this page we can find any info to move WordPress and what we're going to do in this video is moving directories on our existing server. So you can carefully read this step by step and then uh, you can follow this tutorial. So let's get started. So now we're going to minimize this window because who knows we will, we will need this step uh, later on. So I'm going to minimize this window and go back to our site and the next step is we're going to log in to our uh, dashboard. So there on the WordPress, uh, there on the URL, we're going to add WP Test Admin to login. So now in our dashboard, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to change general settings. So we go to settings and general. Now again, before we change any uh, of this setting, please. Uh, make sure that you have backup of your database and WordPress files. So here, as you can see, we have WordPress address uh, URL is set to this. This is where our WordPress files are because we install it in our WordPress directory. And the site address is actually where your visitors uh, be able to view your site. So if you copy this and open a new tab, you will see your website. Now, uh, we want to remove this, so remove both. So delete all the WordPress wording there. And then when you're sure that you have picked up your of your files, we got, we're going to click on Save Changes button. Now don't worry about this because uh, this is normal. And the next step is we're going to open new tab and uh, type in on how uh, type in on your domain name, sorry, WP how to Dot com and then we log into our cPanel so forward slash cPanel so now we are on our cPanel and what we're going to do is uh, type in on find box there file and then it will show you file manager here on the right side click on that and here, make sure that you choose the correct domain that you want to move your WordPress and then click on uh, show hidden files or dot files. Click go. Now, as you can see, we are on public underscore HTML uh, root. Uh, in other hosts, you might find htdocs or something like that. But in this host, for the demo, uh, it used public underscore HTML. We see that we have WordPress directory or WordPress WordPress folder over there. So what we're going to do is select that WordPress folder and then double click it to open our files. And now we see our file uh, are actually uh, saved here. So what we're going to do is click on select all and then click on move file icon on the top and then now we're going to delete the WordPress and then click on move files. So it will move all of your files in a second and then now we're going to click on up one level button and as you can see now every files that are saved in WordPress folder are now sitting in the root uh, directory of our uh, website. So the next is we're going to delete this empty folder, delete it. And then next is we're going to the error uh, URL here and then we're going to refresh that and then uh, log into your uh, WordPress website. 
So now we are able to log in to our website. So now the first thing we want to know is of course to uh, see if our site works. So we're going to hover that and then click on visit site and track it our new tab and let's see if our site works. So now as you can see I have image here and the front page and any page is working and it's working. So uh, as you can see now we have our uh, pages and post work but now as you can see I have this uh, image which is broken. So if I go to scroll down again and some of some of images are uh, not showing. Don't worry about that. So we're just going to uh, close this first. So uh, because I'm using default permalink so it's uh, working but in your case you might want just to be sure go to settings and uh, I might want to size my window again. Go to settings and then click on permalinks just to be sure. And then here click on your permalinks. So now I'm just going to go to with the post name. So I'm just going to uh, change my permalink to this and you just and if you already have your post in uh, this permalink so you just uh, click on save changes and don't need to change your permalinks. So now that everything is done now I'm going to check my website again to check the page is okay and the post is okay and we're going to fix the image now. So close this and now go back to our cPanel again. Here we're going to upload script. So if we look again to our uh, moving WordPress documentation, we already create uh, the uh, location. So we actually don't need this because we need to move to the root and then log in everything we already uh, follow now. So what we're going to do is um, uh, now update the location of our image. So what I'm going to do is click on search and replace tool and download this uh, script. I am now in this video using the 3.0.0 beta so just click on that and you will have your file in your desktop. So now I'm going to minimize this page and uh, I'm going to minimize my browser and as you can see now I have this script on my desktop. So what I'm going to do is open my uh, cPanel again and here we're going to uh, upload the file. So make sure that you are on the root of your uh, server and then here we're going to click on upload button and choose file and then look where your uh, script is the that you just downloaded and then select that click open now it says it's complete we're going to click on that back to home path so now we see that this file is already uploaded if you don't see it you can click on reload button on the top now we're going to select that file and then click on extract button extract and hit close so here we're going to delete this .zip file, delete it, and then here uh, we're going to rename this file. So look where search replace db master, select that. So when it's selected, right click it and rename, and we're going to rename it as osr, or maybe with the lowercase osr rename files or folder. And now we have osr folder. Then the next is we go to our site and delete everything except of your site.com and then forward slash and then sr hit enter and then you will see uh, this uh, page. Now what we're going to do is that we're going to uh, copy this okay so http forward slash forward slash and then your site.com and then forward slash and then we're going to add WordPress because our site was with WordPress and then we want to replace it with uh, without WordPress. Okay? So everything is uh, right and then we're going to uh, dry run first. So actually now that we run dry run it actually not yet li uh, replacing our URL but actually you can view changes that we will make there. So you just can click that if you like and you will see that it will change to uh, this URL. And as you notice that we 
uh, did something wrong. So this this has a slash less. So what we're going to do is uh, hit close and then uh, go up again there and then delete that forward slash. Now run, try run again. So now uh, to make sure that it is uh, right, we go to few changes and as you can see this is just exactly what we want. So hit close and now we're going to click on live run and click OK. So when it's done, I'm going to view changes again and to see if everything just exactly what we want and then hit close button and now uh, we go to our site and paste it here and now we have the images showing. So as you can see here on the right area, also, um, I mean in the left button, it shows you the path to the image. It's, uh, without, as you can see, it's now without the WordPress wording. So if I go to scroll down and look where are the images, it's just the same. It's without the uh, WordPress URL. OK, check again if the page is working and the post is working, is, is everything working and even the image is now working again. Okay, so the next step is uh, the important step that we need to delete this uh, script. So uh, click on delete me and of course now it's showing error because we renamed the folder. Just uh, click that uh, tab close that tab and then we go to our cPanel and then we see now the SR folder there we just select that and then delete that and everything is now deleted uh, we are safe so the script is deleted there is no other way that people can uh, load the script again so there it is now we have our site working and the images and everything is working so uh, we done our step by step uh, moving WordPress to the new directory. So uh, thank you so much for watching this video guys. Please like this video if it was useful for you and see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye.